Today we are reviewing the new Ping GLE3 women's clubs and today I've got Isabel McCauley. We're gonna test them out and we're gonna show you everything you need to know and hit some shots on TrackMan. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole, the second swing golf, joined today by Isabella McCauley. Uh, Isabella is a member of the University of Minnesota women's golf team and knows a thing or two about golf clubs and the importance of getting fit. And so today we have her in for the Ping GLE3 uh, new women's line. And so um, Bella, now obviously you're not exactly a perfect fit for these clubs, but yeah. you're very in tune with the women's game mm -hmm. and even further than that, maybe the junior golf and even the teen golf kind of game. So yeah. uh, you're kind of very familiar with what these clubs need to provide for those players. And so, um, and Ping has been, you know, a leader in this space, right? And providing forgiveness, yeah, easy launch for these players, maybe with kind of moderate swing speed. So talk to me about what you see with these clubs, maybe what you, and as a, you know, and you mentioned before, as you were kind of in the youth golf game, you played women's sets before. So um, in these clubs, what are you looking for specifically and what has Ping delivered here? Yeah, exactly. So actually most of my junior career up until like, I was maybe 14 or something. I actually played similar clubs to these. So um, I would say a lot of junior players, most women golfers, um, teenage golfers, like women's clubs are perfect for you, majority. Mm -hmm. um, always good to get fit, but almost most likely you're going to end up in some sort of women's set. And they're really good. They're really good for forgiveness. Sometimes um, it, it, it's really some of the really thin clubs, like mm -hmm. the blades can yep. aren't yep. as forgiving and are really hard to – keep hitting it straight. So um, some of the women's clubs are a little bit more designed for that. They're a little lighter, so they're designed for slower swing speeds. Um, it's just actually designed to basically cater towards towards a women golfer and um, allow you to hit the best possible shot. So yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, and I think what they've done, so the Ping G430 technology, that's kind of the uh, staple line this year in 2023 from Ping. They've taken a lot of that technology and thrown it into a very sleek design with this sort yeah. of navy and gold and silver colored uh, combination here. And they've thrown that together in here, added some offset, especially to the woods, as you can see. And then I think the really cool thing that we should touch on too is the loss of the clubs. So yeah. um, standard loss and maybe men's clubs, you have lower loss generally, kind of higher swing mm -hmm. speeds, get the ball in the air easier, but the three woods actually 18 degrees. Yeah. And you actually have up to a nine wood at 28 degrees in yeah. this set. So you have three wood, five wood, seven wood, nine wood in the fairy woods. You also have hybrids up to a seven hybrid. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of extra loft there to help those players get that ball into the air a little bit easier. Yeah, basically it's just a couple degrees more loft on a women's club as a men's similar mm -hmm. like club would be. Um, that just allows you to get into the ball a little bit higher get a little bit more spin on the ball, a little bit straighter. So it's kind of, it's just catered all around to, mm -hmm. for a woman's golfer and like the, the general sp swing speed and just the type of game that they might have, so. Yeah, and so the nice thing with Ping in these sets is that, you know, you can order just the iron set if that's what you need. Can you get just the driver? Yeah. Or of course you can get the entire set and they have four different putter heads as well from a blade to a mallet. Uh, and so today we're gonna do a little bit of testing. Bella's gonna swing a little bit maybe lighter than she typically does, but yeah. we're going to test the driver and the iron um, just to kind of get her feedback on the performance, uh, having been, you know, having, you know, an expert here in that kind of women's golf space, junior golf space as well, if you're teaching your clinics and whatnot. So um, you ready to hit some shots here? Yeah, I'm excited. Like you said, I think the clubs aren't quite designed for me from like a shaft standpoint, but I'll be able to give some good feedback on kind of the look of the club and how I feel like it's, how I feel like the contact is and mm -hmm. everything. So it'll be fun. All right, so Miss McCauley, um, what? Uh, first of all, let's get kind of the, your your feedback on the look of the seven iron, right? That's a seven iron. Yeah. So um, the feedback on the look of that club, obviously, like we talked about, it's going to be a little bit bigger probably than what you're playing mm -hmm. in your bag in terms of the club head size. But um, does that you know does it inspire confidence for players if they're fit into it? Oh, absolutely. It's just going to give a lot more forgiveness, especially in like a fairway type shot mm -hmm. um, when you're not sitting up on a tee. I actually played like a similar cavity back sort of thing until, until I was much later into my junior career and I really liked them. It, I could definitely notice the forgiveness off of it. Um, that's why a lot of people even use hybrids into their upper irons um, just to have a little bit more forgiveness. So I definitely noticed that, but it's super clean just looking down at it. Really great looking club, mm -hmm. I think. 
trying to swing a little softer, but yeah, it's a good looking shot. I mean, and you oh, got yeah. the, I know you got that, that kind of baby draw on your game, uh, yeah. but it's overall pretty straight ball flight, right? And how about the feel of the club? So yeah. you've hit a couple shots now. Um, is it, I mean, it, from here, it sounds very kind of explosive, a mm -hmm. lot of energy sort of being mm -hmm. transferred to the golf ball and impact. Um, how's the feel? No, it does feel really good. I would, I would agree with that. I think, um, just the way that this club is designed, it's designed to get as much power and distance out of a golfer as possible, which is actually another part of the reasons of the cavity back. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it definitely comes off very clean, um, explosive kind of even from just a sound standpoint, which is kind of cool. Just getting as much distance as you can out of the ball. Yeah. Tell you what, those are pretty consistent golf shots right there. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it for my clubs at this point <laughs> if I can keep it that straight. So, and I know you talk a lot about how important the fitting aspect is right for your game. Yeah. And so the cool thing with Ping is, you know, they actually are introducing a new um, fitting kind of system for their irons, which will be available at Second Swing stores if you're going to get fit for Ping GLE3 irons. Um, it's going to make our, you know, have our, give our fitters a lot easier time fitting and, you know, changing that lie angle, changing that loft for you. Um, and they, of course, still abide by the color combinations, um, the Ping lie angle chart. So you might have a black dot there, but of course, you know, there's, all these different colors have a different lie angle combination. So um, there's ping never lets you down in terms of the, the fitting um, realm, right? So, and I know you will talk all about that and you'll endorse that as well is, is making sure if you're gonna get yourself some ping GLE3 irons or even a driver, whatever it might be, just make sure that all those specs are fit for you, right? Yeah, exactly. I think we touched on it, but most women's clubs are designed for women as by the name, but, um, it's, it's always important to go to your local store to get fit, just to mm -hmm. get, make sure you're, you know, you got the right loft or even just tweaking certain things about the club is, is possible to do. So, um, yeah, it's, it's always, it's always a really good idea to just get something catered specifically mm -hmm. for you. Right. And I think it's also worth noting too, is as you hit these irons, you know, at, at second swing, while these are going to be great for most women players, juniors, teens, or even, uh, men who might not have quite the swing speed of that might be required for men's quote unquote clubs. These are going to be great performers for those players. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think especially juniors or, um, teenagers just kind of getting started and, and generating some club head speed, but yeah, it really could be for anyone, mm -hmm. anyone who has the, the specific club head speed necessary for it could be men too. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's actually a really good idea that they, um, started coming up with these clubs right. and that they have this fit for, for people sure. with such a swing speed. Right. Um, let's get one more iron swing here. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know if that one was so good, but. <laughs> oh yeah. So I think you felt like you maybe turned the club a little bit. Yep. Um, but it definitely, you know, it's still out there plenty of distance. Look at that. Oh yeah. I'm not even swinging that hard. <laughs> which I think is encouraging to know that it goes yeah. a good distance. Definitely a solid pop off the face. Oh too. yeah. I mean, there's a reason that ball's still going 150 yards and you're swinging it at only 65 miles an hour. So, Absolutely. Um, some really good stuff, I think on that. Do you, I mean, I guess let's ask uh, Isabella, do we get the stamp of approval on the irons at least for G L E three? Yes, you do. Okay. I love them. I think that they're a great fit for a good woman's player and um, yeah, go to your local store to get fit. I really like, the look of it and I think you will too. All right, so we should we try the driver now. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, so the driver, ooh, there's a good ball. So talk to me about what you see now when you look at that driver down at a dress. Yeah, I think it looks really similar to a lot of um, super good high end men's clubs. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest difference is that it's super light. Yeah which I actually even have a lighter club in my bag just because it's a lot easier for, for me to swing. Um, so that's really good for a lot of women's players who are just trying to generate enough club head speed for them and it's designed perfectly for them. So um, yeah, it's lighter, it's a good look. Yeah, I think one thing we should probably mention too it's here. It's a little weird for me to you, swing. Yeah, well that. So 
Number one, this is, again, the, the shaft. You said you mentioned you have a lighter club in your bag. This yeah. is even lighter than that. Yep. But uh, number two is these drivers are a little bit draw biased in the sense that yeah. the weight, or you can see on the bottom of the club, there's a weight towards the heel side, yep. which will sort of close that club face a little bit more um, quickly on your downswing. So, um, and if you're not used to that in your driver, obviously that's going to, for you, create that draw. But if there's a slicer that right mm -hmm. might be struggling with that kind of, slice or maybe even a block or the club face is open at impact often um the, this driver will definitely correct that for yeah, you. yeah and i think that even touches into why fitting is so important i mean yeah. even some of my clubs have more of a cut bias because i am a natural draw player so some of my clubs are kind of have more of a left to right bias so that it'll end up going a little bit sure. more straight so just knowing that this club has more of a draw bias so if you have a cut swing it might be for you um but always good to get fit and just double check but mm -hmm just knowing that that's kind of what this club is designed for. Maybe not for me, but perfect for some people. Yeah, I would say you're in the minority because most players are the slicers out there. And I yeah, know that our, is my more fit, I know the fitters here would, would back that up and the number of fittings they deal with for, with someone that's hitting a fade or a slice versus yep. a draw. Yep, that's much more common for sure. And, and cuts are just as good of a shot, but it's just oh, important yeah. to know what you're – kind of dealing with and what your what your natural shot is mm -hmm. so you can kind of know what to do to compensate for it. Well, that's a few really good swings there. Um, so, and I, I know, again, we're taking these numbers with a little bit of a grain of salt just because, yeah. again, not, the, I, not something that you would throw in the bag yourself, but um, I did want to point out the um, smash factor here. You were very efficient with both clubs, so basically what that means is you're sort of you're getting is you're getting like maximum energy out of the ball every yep. time you hit it. Right? Yep. Um, especially with the iron at one four two, that is um, extremely efficient for a seven iron to get mm -hmm. it up that high. And then with driver, you're very efficient as well. And that distance, of course, getting a driver two hundred yards when you're swinging at just over eighty miles an hour. Um, Ping did say that right about eighty miles an hour is a pretty good range mm -hmm. for the Ping GLE3 sort of driver to be in, in the bag for. And if you're someone that needs some more distance, you might not be finding the optimal um, numbers on your driver and you're in that range, you're gonna probably see an improvement based on this. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the smash factor even kind of touches into how conducive the clubs are to just mm -hmm. hitting it off the center of the club face. I think that's what, especially for an iron to have that high of a smash factor, it's definitely, has a other has a bigger face meant more for um, meant for a little bit more forgiveness and I think the the numbers definitely showed yep. that so I also wanted to point out you mentioned we we talked I think three four or five times now we mentioned fitting but it's really cool to see an, an oval that small up there right and of how congested those shots all mm -hmm. are especially with the driver because in a fitting what would probably happen is let's say someone came in and was swinging just like you are right now you could move that lie angle, right? Open up and flatten that lie angle a little bit. And that oval would go from that left side of the fairway back over to the right and right in the middle. Absolutely. Uh, so those are those little tweaks that ping allows our fitters to do with that hosel. And of course our fitters do all the training to make sure that they know how to dial that in. So um, does the driver now get the stamp of approval? Yeah, it does. I okay. think it's especially meant for, like we touched on, it's definitely meant for people who have a little bit more of a cut swing, but yeah. I think it's great for distance. It's great for people who are trying to get the most distance out there that they can out of the golf ball. So yeah, I love it. All right, Isabella, testing complete. Ping GLE3, we hit the driver, we hit the seven iron. Um, and I think you were impressed with both of them. Uh, and so we talked throughout the testing and throughout even the intro portion as well about the players that would best be fit into these clubs. but after hitting them now, um, the type of player maybe that would be, that would get the most benefit of playing these clubs, how would you describe that player or players, I guess? Yeah, absolutely. I think it definitely would be someone with a little bit lower swing speed. Uh, women players, juniors, teenagers getting into it, can even be for men who have slower swing speeds and are working their way up. Um, but yeah, really good, especially for a starter club. I think it's also meant for people who maybe have a little bit more of a cut swing. Um, as the, the draw lie will naturally kind of compensate for that. And, um, and people who are trying to get some distance out of the golf ball, I think the clubs do a really good job of maximizing that, so. 
yeah, I think all those things were hit on pretty well in both the testing and then, of course, if you um, you can go online at secondsmean.com and learn all about Ping GLE, GLE3 in terms of the product descriptions and read all the information, the reviews and stuff, and you'll see all the, the technology Ping has brought in from the G430 stuff, and of course, you add in some you know lighter shafts, a little bit lighter club head uh, weight, and then you kind of get that easier swing speed and launch and distance, et cetera, uh, from the Ping GLE3 clubs. So. Um, Isabella, this was awesome to have you in and test these clubs out and give your insight. Uh, I know Ping loves to, you know, launch these clubs right for for women and help them improve their games. And so um, I know it's going to be a big winner. So thank you again for coming in and testing them out and giving your feedback. I know the viewers will enjoy it. Yeah, it was a great time. Thanks for having me.